If you're looking for trunks, extraordinary customization, and a talented team, then Texas Metal is right for you. Centered around the Texas-based Extensive Metal Works, the show has gained followers worldwide for showcasing otherworldly builds and customizations of trucks and other big vehicles. The team's focus is always on turning ordinary materials into extraordinary creations, making them one of the most creative and resourceful builders around. Nevertheless, becoming a reality TV star or program also has its downsides, such as turning the focus of the curious eyes of fans who don't hesitate to ask a question or two when they see something out of place in the show. Is this also the case for Tim Donaldson? And what is the truth behind his disappearance from Texas Metal in recent seasons of the show? Stay listening to know the truth. One thing about car flipping shows is that they always make their audience grow attached to the cast members. Such happened with Texas Metal's fan favorite, Tim Donaldson, the foreman and builder from Extensive Metal Works, who starred in the show for its earliest five seasons, but was notably absent from the sixth, aired in 2023. While Tim's exit from the shop wasn't explained in Texas Metal, it seems that he won't be returning to the show anytime soon. As Tim announced on Instagram in November 2022, he's definitely left extensive metal works and founded his own business, Timmy John's Machining and Fabrication, alongside John Vega, who also appeared in Texas Metal. Though this change might be surprising for some, Tim revealed that he and Vega had been working half-time at Timmy John's for quite some time, but the increasing need to move their business forward led them to leave their old full-time jobs at Extensive Metal Works. Nonetheless, Tim affirmed that he isn't on bad terms with his old boss, Bill Carlton, and other former colleagues there. All in all, fans enjoyed seeing Tim during his time in Texas Metal, but it's great to see him building his path in the automotive business. Though metal fabrication and car building are some of Tim Donaldson's biggest passions, his business, Timmy John's Machining and Fabrication, goes beyond that. As seen in the business's social media, Tim and John Vega's shop had its beginnings working on metal pieces for cars and bikes, plus customized accessories, emblems and badges, including 3D printed accessories. As the shop became the focus of the now former Texas Metal stars Tim and John, the pair expanded their business to collision work and motorized tools produced items, making use of their skills not only at metal fabrication but also as designers. So far, Tim's company has collaborated with several other Texas-based businesses, including Martin Brothers Customs from the also-hit TV show Iron Resurrection. While it's still early to say what the future of Timmy John's is, it's sure that the business has great people on board to slowly but surely make itself a name in the industry. While Tim Donaldson's exit from the show is sad, he's not the only one who's left Texas Metal since the show's premiere. If you paid attention to the earliest three seasons of Texas Metal, then you surely remember the expert upholsterer Heath Moore, whose creations were always a big part of the success achieved by extensive Metal Works projects. However, his absence from the show from the fourth season on had his fans understandably flabbergasted and confused about his whereabouts. Well, it doesn't seem that Heath is returning to TV anytime soon, though that's not necessarily a bad thing. As seen in his very active Instagram account, these days Heath is very focused on his business, Heath Moore Interiors, where he designs and produces otherworldly upholstery for cars of all types. He's also started a YouTube channel on which he shares upholstery tutorials and shares episodes of his podcast, Taco Time. While Heath went through some hard times when he was infected with COVID-19 in early 2021, it seems that he's back in shape again these days. Also, it's unclear what his reason for not appearing on TV anymore is, but according to some of his Instagram posts, he occasionally still works on interiors for extensive metal works. All in all, Heath Moore seems to be doing quite well nowadays, but the hope of seeing him back on TV in Texas Metal isn't completely lost yet. Viewers of Texas Metal surely remember John Vega for his skills as a builder and metal fabricator, yet his time with extensive metal works had to end at some point. As he announced in September 2022, he was leaving his old job to focus on Timmy John's machining and fabrication full-time. It's safe to assume that leaving wasn't easy for John, especially considering that he'd worked for Bill Carlton for over 10 years. But the new chapter of his life as a business owner alongside Tim Donaldson was surely a good choice. He didn't leave extensive metalworks on bad terms, though, as Bill himself commented on John's goodbye post on Instagram, describing him as an instrumental part of the business history and wishing him the best. While it's sad to know that John and Tim won't be part of Texas Metal anymore, it's good to see the pair building something great on their own. 
Though Texas Metal has gone through changes after the departure of some of its cast members, the truth is that the show is going on stronger than ever. During the show's sixth season aired in early 2023, Texas Metal worked on incredible projects which included customizing trucks, tankers, and cars owned by John Cena and even small coops. As well, in August, Extensive Metal Works announced that the staff were getting ready to film Texas Metal's seventh season, which is presumed to air in early 2024 if they follow a similar schedule to previous seasons. More amazing projects are coming Bill Carlton's way, as in early 2023, the spin-off Texas Metal's Loud and Lifted premiered on Motor Trend. This new show is also focused on big trucks and rowdy projects, but instead of focusing on extensive metal works, it showcases small and on-the-rise car shops in Texas as they compete to build the best trucks around. Nonetheless, Bill is also there in the show to evaluate the projects and guide competitors on their path to success. So far, it seems that a lot of exciting things are awaiting the current Texas Metal stars and those who were once part of the team. Thank you for spending some time with us. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpick these videos, which we recommend you watch next. You can talk to us on all social medias or ask a question in the comments below. Thank you for being with us and we'll see you back tomorrow.